Yo, 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 what is going on? My name is VK and welcome to another very exciting day here in Finland. Also, another Phenomenal Creations video effects tutorial. Hope you guys are all doing fantastic, because I am, and hope you are too. And today we're gonna do some pretty cool stuff inside After Effects. So, I hope you're excited, because today we're gonna put mountains and monuments inside your film. So guys, before we jump into After Effects and see how this effect is pulled off, a few things to keep in mind when you shoot footage like this. Remember to keep your camera on a tripod, like, and when you're panning around the tripod pan so we're not creating any kind of parallax. This will help out in posts and it's really hard to composite this kind of track mats, matte paintings, mountain tracks if you have a camera which is doing parallaxes. So keep that in mind, so keep your camera on a tripod or like in your hand it's like you're moving your head around like this so that's what the camera should see when you're capturing motion so okay guys let's go ahead and jump into after effects right now and see how this effect is done all right here we are in after effects and i have just brought out my, all my footage right inside it and here's my footage of when i captured this is the raw footage as you saw basically here you could see what i have put them um, put a mountain into the film with a cool color grade so today we're gonna show you how to create that cool mountain stuff inside it so it's not that actually that super hard the first thing to do is to track our footage and there's like a million ways how you can track footage but we are specifically needing a 3d track today so what you're gonna do is go uh, and find the tracker on your panels um, and if you don't have this panel over here, you can just go click on window and go to and click on tra uh, tracker Sorry, and then it will appear somewhere around your workspace and then just use it So hit track camera and that will do is start to analyze your your background your footage trying to find some key points and track points It will take a while but before I cut into that as you can see it has started to uh, Trying to find the and analyze the tracks, but let's go back to the advanced panel and go from the solve method to tripod pan because uh, that will help a bit with the track. So, you know, it's on a tripod, so let's keep it on tripod and let's go ahead and click on detailed analysis that will help this a bit more. So, let's see when you d when this is done. All right, the track is finishing up right here. And it's looking like it's about hitting 100% and now it's the solving camera function happening over here. And sh soon we should see some points. And there they are. Here are all our tracking points, like a million dots throughout the whole video. And don't mind if this happens, it just takes a bit of rendering power to to all show all these points and the footage. So now when we have a pretty successful track here, let's go ahead and, and select those points where we want to put our mountain or monument or whatever you want to put there. So I, I think the mountain is gonna be here, as in the example. And here is the, like the best part, uh, the closest part where we need to track. So let's go ahead and click and hold and select like a bunch of points right here. And that will create one of these um, tracker marks here. Then just right click on it and, and let's go ahead and create a solid and a camera. No, not a solid, not a solid. We go here and create a camera like this. And now we have created a camera and now we can go ahead and create a solid like this. Okay, you can do either way, everything works. So now if your track should have been successful, the solid should be like this, tracked perfectly to your scene. Alright, so once your track has been trackized, or whatever you want to call it, and you're not seeing the solid because I just hide it here, it doesn't matter, you know, it was just to make sure that I have tracked properly. So now we ha have to go and save a frame. So let's go here um, and save this frame, you will understand just in a second. Let's go back to composition, save frame as, and a file. 
so we're going to use this as the reference layer where we can go edit our mounts and in so we get in the perspective right and i will just basically everything you 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 do is you save out one image of that frame so it's like rendering out of footage in after effects but now it's just doing in a frame and like this and let's go ahead and render out this photoshop file all right, so now it's time to put our mountain frame Photoshop layer into Photoshop. You don't have to use Photoshop specifically. You can use any kind of image editing software you possess. I'll use Photoshop because I want to maximize compatibility. So right here in Photoshop, uh, in Photoshop we're not doing any effects. We're just like matching the perspective of the of the object we're putting in. So now the next thing to do is to uh, put a mountain or a monument or whatever you want to put in your film uh, right here. And what we'll do is I like Photoshop specifically because I got used the quick selection tool. So, using the quick selection tool, I can pretty easily mask out a mountain to, for example, for this clip. So, that's what I'm gonna use. Okay, so once we have cut out our mountain right here, we can just go ahead and position it wherever we want and we, where, wherever we feel like necessary so it matches our clip. And then you just size and position it somewhere briefly where you want to be in your final clip. I think this is pretty good. Now when we're back inside After Effects, we have put all our mount frame, the image we have just created and put it on top of everything on our comp right here. And then what we need to do is to create a duplicate out of it because the the layer behind it, the duplicate, is like showing a, it's like a template for the the on top one because the top one we got put into 3D, and when we put it into 3D, it appears somewhere around here. So now what we have to do is to use the arrow keys and use the rotation, trying to match the perspective and the size as needed to to make this like like fit into our footage. And once you have found that your image is now replacing the template, then you can just go ahead and delete this 2D template. And as you can see, if you scrub through, your mountain should be pretty good tracked automatically to your footage. And why it's stitching? Because you have created a 3D tracker camera, and every object in the uh, like timeline you turn into 3D will uh, like parent to that track automatically. So I didn't do any magical tricks there. So now we have done this and but okay, it's tracked pretty good But now it's time to put the cool mat make it behind things How do we do that? Let's go ahead and first and click off this mount so we're not seeing it And let's go ahead and create a new solid hitting command while you control Y on your keyboard and call this just mat Let's keep it white because we need the mat need to be white and Then we'll go ahead and click on the 3d layer. So it's also parented and like tracked to their scene and then you just go ahead and scale it up like crazy so it's taking the whole composition here and then let's go ahead and do, uh, like hide the layer and let's go ahead and put a mask a mask around the part you want it to go to behind so then let's go ahead and just you can see me go super fast here I'll just go a mask around the buildings and once we have created our mask, it's time to click on our matte layer. And you see it will turn everything white you have masked. And you want to see a cool thing? When you scrub through your timeline, that white layer is perfectly tracked. It's stitching on the white building you just did. And this is why, because you put it onto a 3D layer. So you don't. this is the method how you can avoid all the mask path and masking and everything so you don't have to like animate a mask to get things behind something you can use this kind of matte painting trick so now what we do is we go ahead and click on the mountain frame like this and then what we do is go ahead and take the track mat to luma mat and you can see we'll take all the white information and put it on it but if we go to the luma inverted mat that will put the uh, the mountain behind that white layer. So when we scrub it through, it's behind our footage or behind our the boat here and and the house. So the next thing to do is to make it a bit more realistic. As you can see, right 
underneath it we have a lot of trees, branches, and all this kind of stuff. How do we like put it behind it but without doing some real nitpicking masking? It's actually not that hard. I have a really cool trick for you. So what we go ahead and do is go ahead and duplicate our main footage here and and then put it on top. If you don't know how to duplicate, just hit Command D or Control D and put it on top on everything. And then find the color color difference key. Color color difference key right there. And then type it on the mo MOV file. And you can see some cool stuff happening there. Let's go ahead and take the Peak Whip tool and select the sky color. And you can just like play with the parameters here. To like take a bit more of the mountain again uh, so we can see it a bit better like this and you can play with it so you can get it to match but the cool thing with this is now you can see it's behind all branches and it's using the sky as um, as a key there and this is actually pretty pretty cool and pretty effective so guys that's basically how you do this effect if you want to go ahead and make this a bit more advanced you can put some clouds composite some clouds or put some birds there or something use your imagination but this was basically it so guys thank you guys so much for watching this video if you like this video feel free to hit that like button like this video if you liked it dislike if you disliked it and comment anything you want down below remember all my videos are created from your requests so if you want to see something specific put it down below and i will analyze it and create it for you guys and if you don't know already you should go ahead and subscribe right on top of me subscribe and make sure you don't miss anything on the coming videos. So subscribe if you haven't already. And mine is VK.